What's going on everybody and in this video we're gonna be going over the new best settings to use in Black Ops Cold War. If this video does help you guys out and you guys end up dropping your highest kill gameplay or maybe your first nuclear, dropping a like on the video will be greatly appreciated. The like goal on this video is gonna be 500 likes. So if we can get that in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. You guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC. Now these settings are gonna work whether you guys are playing on a regular Xbox, Xbox Series S, a PS4, or a PS5 controller. You do not have to have a special controller with paddles to use these settings. I think that's gonna be super helpful for a majority of players that are currently playing Black Ops Cold War. Now, you guys can see here, I play on a four horizontal as well as a four vertical stick sensitivity. Let me know down in the comment section right now, what are your current sensitivity settings you guys are running in game? I get a lot of comments asking what sensitivity I run, and I get even more comments asking why I run a low sensitivity. The reason I like to run a low sensitivity on this game is because accuracy is key. And personally, I believe that I am the most accurate when I am running a lower sensitivity setting. Now, if you guys are struggling with aim, accuracy, recoil control, I highly recommend you guys going ahead and reducing your sensitivity down below a 5. There's absolutely no reason to be running a high sensitivity on Black Ops Cold War because this game is a boots on the ground Call of Duty. There's no advanced movement, there's no jetpack, so realistically, all your gunfights are going to be in front of you, to the left, or to the right you don't need to be spinning around you guys don't need to be you know trying to do a trick shot or something like that when you're trying to improve your aim and accuracy all you need to be focusing on is making sure that all your shots are on target and you're hitting a chest or a headshot so you guys can get a faster time to kill and that's a lot easier to do when you guys are running a lower sensitivity setting now you guys can see here for the low zoom and the high zoom i play on a 0.7 again i reduced this from the standard one. This is so I can be more accurate over ranges and there's less stick play. All of my settings revolve around trying to be the most accurate and the most proficient player as possible. And that's why I have some reduced settings so I can be more accurate and be more effective, especially over ranges. Now you guys can also see here, I am playing with the tactical button layout. This is a setting that I made a switch to back in Call of Duty World at War and I've never went back. Tactical is the absolute best, literally the absolute best button layout to play on in Black Ops Cold War and Call of Duty for that matter. It's going to allow you guys to remap your crouch and your prone button from B to your right thumbstick so you guys can get in and out of cover a lot faster. It also lets you drop shot easier in this game if you guys were unaware. Now, tactical, again, I recommend you guys going ahead and making the switch because being in and out of cover, taking cover, and being accurate are two very, very important aspects in this game. Now, we're going to be jumping down to my aim response curve type. And I am playing on linear. Again, this is going to be a setting dealing around aim and accuracy. If you guys are wondering how players are able to snap between one to two players, maybe three, very, very quickly, it's because they're playing on the linear aim response curve type. They're not going to be getting any unnecessary aim aim assist drag away from a player if somebody runs across your screen even if you're already in a gunfight it's going to be pinpoint on the player you're trying to take out and then pinpoint on the player that you next try to get into an engagement with i recommend you guys you go, i recommend you guys going ahead and making this switch to a linear aim assist response curve type if you guys again are struggling with aim and accuracy and also struggling with taking out multiple players on your screen at the same time it's almost like cheating now we're gonna be going over down to the controller vibration. Again, I'm gonna be going ahead and disabling this. This is a setting that you guys are either gonna disable and never turn back on or turn it off and be like, eh, you know what? I like vibration and turn it right back on. It's completely personal preference. But for me, I don't like to have controller vibration because it throws off my aim and my accuracy. I don't like any unnecessary play in my controller. Now you guys can see here everything else is going to be pretty much on standard i have everything you know not really messed with and i don't really want to mess with it because i like to have kind of a streamlined setting but messing with everything that's going to be revolving around aim and accuracy now again you guys can see nothing else has really changed all this is going to be on default 
I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my settings so you guys know exactly what I am running. Now I'm going over to the audio settings which are gonna be very very important in this game. My master volume is on 100. I want to be able to hear footsteps, everything that's going around in my game. Music volume, I have it reduced down to 70. Sound effects, I have it at 100. Dialogue, I have it at 100. Cinematics, I have it at 100. And my audio presets, I am playing on a high boost setting. Now, if you guys have an Xbox, you know, headset, maybe you guys have an Astro A40, Turtle Beaches, you know, maybe a high-end PC headset or a PS4 headset, I recommend you guys playing on high boost. This is going to be pretty much kind of like the super crunch of Black Ops Cold War. This is how you're able to hear footsteps and pinpoint gunfight audio a lot easier. This is going to increase your situational awareness. I recommend you guys going ahead and making this switch immediately. I love playing on high boost. A lot of people call me ears because I use my headset more than my gun skill. That's why I can hear people where they're coming from. I can hear gunfights where they're located at. I can track down enemies based off sound. And that's exactly why I play on a high boost audio preset. Everything else is going to be pretty much the same under the audio settings. I'm going to go ahead and flip through this so you guys can see what I'm running. But the huge takeaway is that you guys should definitely go ahead and run the high boost audio setting. Because it's going to allow you to hear footsteps as well as gunfire a lot easier in this game. Footsteps are huge in this Call of Duty. They're very loud. and allow you to be able to figure out exactly where people are coming from a lot easier. Now for my graphic settings, you guys can see here that I'm playing on a full screen display mode and I also have a 144 hertz monitor. Now, if you guys are wondering what type of gaming monitor I have, I play on an Asus Tough Gaming Monitor. This is the first monitor that I've actually picked up that has 144 hertz as well as a one millisecond response time. Now you can buy Buy this monitor for 250 bucks and i recommend you guys going ahead and doing so if you guys are on the fence on if a gaming monitor is actually worth it this is actually the first monitor that i've actually picked up that has 144 hertz as well as a one millisecond response time and going from 60 hertz to 144 the difference is massive like you would not believe how ridiculous it actually is i recommend you guys going ahead and do so and it's probably one of the best investments i've made in my entire setup now everything else is going to be pretty much the same 1920 by 1080 16.9 aspect ratio i don't have a colorblind filter on because you can actually go ahead and adjust that in your monitor settings and for my field of view i play on 120 and my ads field of view i play on affected now if you guys are wondering why my iron sights or my red dot sights or you know three times scopes two times scopes might look unzoomed it's because i'm playing on the affected ads field of view this is going to kind of represent your iron sight or whatever optic you have close to your field of view as possible so this is kind of how it might seem like pc players or myself have no vertical or visual recoil it's because we are playing on the affected ads field of view if you guys do not play on the affected ads field of view you can make this setting whether you're playing on console or pc i recommend you guys going ahead and doing this asap it is a huge and i mean a huge change in your gameplay it's going to allow you to be more accurate and honestly beam people a lot easier across the map everything else is going to be like i said pretty much the same it's going to be dependent on what type of pc you have but in the fact that i have you know a pretty good pc i upgraded it right before black ops cold war came out. i have all of the next generation as far as you know specs besides the graphics card this is all going to be personal preference and what your PC is, you know, capable of running, but I have everything pretty much maxed out. So that's going to be my settings that I'm running right now in Black Ops Cold War. Hopefully these do help you guys out. The biggest takeaway again is going to be your horizontal, your vertical, your ADS, your ADS stick, as well as your aim assist response curve type. I recommend you guys going ahead and making this adjustment, changing your settings up and hopefully seeing a result in game. Now for the gameplay, I got you guys a 60 KD nuclear with the M16 running these exact same settings. Count how many one burst kills I get with the M16 as well. Beaming, laser accurate, all due to these settings. So if you guys do enjoy this video and wanna see more once they up to date with my content on the channel, make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. With all being said, let's get right into the 60KD nuclear gameplay.
hopefully hopefully this doesn't get like capped out within two seconds Cause that'd be a cap <sighs> Oh my god. Oh, yep. <laughs> they got guys trying to, they got guys oh, like ADS in my spawn. Wait, what? Yo, please, hey, 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 please. I don't know if you got like a chop. I don't know if you have like a launcher or something, brother. If you could take that shit out. Oh my God, we're gonna lose too, man. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna quick 20. We capped his back. Hostile attack helicopter inbound. We're building our momentum. The final zone is at risk. Regroup and defend it. And capturing those zones is your only priority. Enemy spy plane inbound. I got the nuke, brother. Oh my god, I got my nuke. This was a great nuke. Hell yeah.
No! Come on! Dude, the guy with the- Ah! Oh, what up, Vinny? Oh my god, yo, I'm tearing up. I'm tearing it up right now, bro. I'm going for a high KD. Oh my god. Bro, we're getting fucking busy with this thing. Oh, we're probably gonna cap out. I'm 60 and 0, bro. Or 60 and 1. Damn. A 60 and 1. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hell yeah, let's go. If you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you are enjoying the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, if you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.30 p.m. Central Time, I am live streaming Black Ops Cold War over on Caffeine.tv. Caffeine is a live streaming service that features a lot of popular Call of Duty content creators. As you guys can see here, Raid Away is live right now on Caffeine and he actually just dropped a nuclear. Now, if you guys want to watch me play Black Ops Cold War live and also potentially jump and play a few games with me, all you have to do is download the Caffeine app or you guys can type caffeine.tv in the Google search bar. The app is available on Android as well as iOS. Now, once you guys actually get to the Caffeine website or, like I said, download the mobile app, you can go to the search bar and type in ears. Now, my Caffeine profile is literally caffeine.tv slash ears. Exactly what you guys see on my YouTube channel is what you're going to see here on the Caffeine profile. My account is verified so you guys know it is 110 percent me so if you guys want to go ahead chill in the live streams play some black ops call with me or just support me as a creator make sure you guys download the caffeine app click on the link at the top of the description of this video and come hang out in the stream